Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into any type because it's that time of year again where I do end of year reviews. I talk about whether or not applications were able to match my expectations. I uh, talk about my expectations for them going into next year and any type was one of the applications I uh, was a big believer in. I think I made a video titled these are the uh, apps I'm most excited about in 2024. And the three apps were actually Capacities, Anytype, and Tana. And I will cover all of those three with end of year reviews. But we are starting off with Anytype. And before we jump into the full end of year review, I wanted to cover some of the things we got in the last update, even though it was a really small update. It was an update. So we are just going to cover uh, two things that I uh, really care about. There was, of course, many other things, but I will cover two of uh, the updates. We now have faster search, which is an important thing. So if I search for something, it will go mu much faster to find that. Uh, and the second thing is that I now have all of my objects here. So I can see my relations, my types, my files. I don't actually have any files here. Media, uh, lists, and also pages. Lists is basically, basically databases and pages are all of your different pages. So here you can see all of my different ones. I can also add a new one from right here. So that has been the two like major updates or the two updates I like the most. But that brings me to my point actually. And that is that uh, for the last like five, six months, I haven't seen any major new any type updates. And that is that isn't necessarily bad because I don't expect an application to deliver to uh, huge uh, updates in a year, but um, I expected more and their roadmap actually expected more as well, at least last year. That does not mean that any type has done something wrong or that it is a bad application, not at all. I still think it is great, but it is something to keep in mind uh, with an application that is still on version 0. Point, I think it's 0. 0.43 and still in uh, beta uh, that the development on this has uh, has been slow and it will probably continue to be slow because the thing they are building is quite complex and that also brings me to the uh, another point and that is this like this thing right here, which is their pricing plan, which they actually released this year. Um, and that was the major like release of any type was this and what they call multiplayer mode and they came together. And multiplayer mode is basically just collaborations, but we have uh, pricing plans explorer, which is free. So uh, one gigabyte of network space, you get three shared spaces. So three spaces you can share with someone else. And uh, each of these can have three space members. You can also get the builder plan, which is 99 per year. You get a unique name, 128 gigs of network space, 10 uh, space, sorry, 10 editors per shared space, three shared spaces unlimited viewers per shared space. So here you can actually create a shared space and you can have multiple people edit that shared space. And the last thing is the co-creator plan, which is 299 for three years. Major difference here is that you get more gigabytes of network space and it is 299 for three years. This is also a newer one. This is the business plan uh, and it is uh, uh, you get a unique name and custom uh, gigabyte of network space and it is contact only so you have to contact them in order to get this but I still think this is a great addition because as I've said many times the money is in the business plans not necessarily the personal plans for these uh, applications. If we now jump back into any type what we got was actually shared spaces and um, being able to use the shared spaces here. So I have one like test share the space with 
two members inside of it so major difference here is that you can see the members apart from that everything is quite similar uh, but you actually have the ability to add editors i have another editor on this uh, space uh, so i can collaborate inside of this and that is any type's uh, major selling point is this uh, this collaboration inside of an application like this so let me just jump back into my YouTube test space. The whole idea is that you should be able to collaborate um, in an offline first application, which is something a lot of these local uh, uh, local file or local based applications. So they store your files locally on your computer. They have struggled a bit with figuring this out. The collaboration part, it has been really uh, difficult to figure that out but any type is trying to and I think they've done a good job from what I have been testing in my uh, shared space right here I've done a lot of testing and it is actually quite good uh, so I am happy with the release of multiplayer mode and I think it is a great idea and I think that it works quite well um with that we also got like i don't remember if this came at the same time i think it came a little later but we got the any experience gallery which is basically a way for you to add uh or to populate your any type when you're first starting out or when you're creating a new space instead of going in and actually creating it for yourself you can use one of these already built template to do it and i think that is really important because of um, the high learning curve to any type uh, that you can actually start off with a template and for people in the pkm space we actually have pkm uh, we actually have pkm templates this is yet another pkm space or you can actually go and search for second brain and i think you will get the zettel Carlson system so you have that as well or you could search for para and i think there will be a couple of para workspaces here so para light para encoder setup uh, so you actually have the ability to use one of these instead of building everything yourself like i did uh, and another thing that i really liked uh, which isn't a huge addition uh, but it is something i personally really liked you know when you open up your graph view it is down here and you have all of these things so like i have my uh i have my um my uh notes and my tasks and everything inside of here like these are tasks i don't necessarily want my tasks in a graph view and i know that inside of a few applications you can actually go ahead and you can actually filter things and you can remove things and you can add things and you can do all of that uh, so i know that it is possible inside of a lot of applications but uh, one thing i have wished or have wished for is to have a graph view just inside of a database and that is something any type uh, actually delivered which isn't something i've seen in any other applications and i know that for most people this might not be a big thing but if you want to have an all-in-one workspace but you also want to have a zettel custom system inside of that workspace you can actually do that with this addition of the graph view right here um, so this is something I really liked. They have done uh, a good job on the databases. Like we have calendar uh, as well and we have graph. So there has been a few improvements in uh, the uh, databases as well. But this was my favorite one. So when it comes to whether or not any type met my expectations, I wanted more features this year, uh, but I got mainly what i wanted i got like uh, shared uh, spaces and collaboration and i got some fun features and better databases as well so both sets and collections have these views both calendar views graph view um 
So I am really happy about that. Uh, when it comes to like what I want to see uh, from any type next year, like until they release the shared spaces and probably a month two or three later we got a lot of new features uh, but after that i feel like the development has been a little slow uh, so i would actually want them to add more features and to get more of the things from their roadmap into the application so that is mainly uh, the thing i've been thinking about and I would also uh, want like better onboarding inside of an application. Like onboarding isn't necessarily the thing you think about when you are starting to use an application, but this is so hard to learn um, that I think it is really important with a good onbo uh, onboarding experience for this to become a mainstream application. So either through YouTube videos or uh, tutorials or just inside of the application, having a better onboarding is really, really important for something like any type. But I think they are headed in the right direction. Uh, I still think that the development needs to be a little, a little faster because uh, hype really disappears quite quickly. I haven't seen as many people talking about any type this year as I did last year. Maybe maybe it's just because of the channels I look at and the people I know, but uh, hype dies quite quickly. So in order to actually use all of the hype it gains, it needs to continue to deliver uh, features. And they have an exciting roadmap. I've seen it uh, or found it online a couple of times. and. I think uh, they have a lot of exciting things at least they had that uh, they had it last year when I checked it uh, and I'm hoping that they can add some of those things and I'm also hoping for an even better mobile experience so um, they added a mobile app and the mobile app has uh, actually been quite good uh, it is. It has a lot of things that I really like. Uh, so I am quite happy with the mobile application. I think it is uh, quite good, but I still think it needs a few things to make it a bit more easy to use on the go. But it is like compared to something like Notion, the mobile application of any type is actually better. So that is the things I want to see going into next year. I am uh, quite happy about any type, but uh, I expected a little more. I think that's the conclusion. And that was it for the first of three, uh, at least three end of year reviews. I'm going to cover capacities on Tana as well. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe. And I hope to see you again quite soon.